Hello boys and girls, my name is Altusty and welcome back to another day in Minecraft and it's another tower building bay. Last time we did this uh, nice huge tower housing the uh, cactus farm behind me and today we will do another even more modern tower in front of me here uh, housing the sugarcane farm and this platform that I have prepared that's actually the floor for the uh, for the farm um, so we will have the collection system on here Hopefully this uh, works, and then on the uh, on the outside where you can uh, see the uh, the other um, markers. That's where the uh, tower will go up. The outer shell uh, was inspired by a Reddit post or a picture I saw on there and um, well I took inspiration from that it did not turn out uh, exactly uh, like it um, and definitely in in this area uh, we have uh, a quite diverse build style with the uh, the stone brick or the uh, the red brick fabric building over there which are industrial building uh, to the sandstone tower which is more like uh, um, I felt like a, a commercial building like a, a banking tower um, to this glass tower which um, I would describe as uh, futuristic and uh, probably not really uh, uh, practical to uh, to live in or uh, have anything in it. Uh, maybe uh, a, a kind of art installation, but I find it quite difficult um, to have uh, a tower-like structure uh, for farms because farms are basically uh, something uh, industrial so the only things that come to mind in that area are, are chimneys or uh, uh, cooling towers and I don't think those look uh, uh, particularly nice or are um, uh, difficult in building once you figured out all the uh, curves that go uh, uh, in there. Um, that's why I did not uh, opt for, for that kind of building. But here the, the tricky part is um, the, the building up because as you saw uh, there are different layers uh, with one uh, layer of uh, polished andesite and then three layers of uh, glass making up one level and each level is turned by uh, 18 degrees so that after uh, uh, five revelation we have a full turn of 90 degrees and uh, the whole process can start over so the real difficult part is uh, uh, the preparation to figure out uh, these 18 degree turns and uh, where the blocks should be uh, uh, placed out of this. And to figure that out I uh, basically uh, made a small drawing in, uh, in GIMP uh, for the uh, ground floor and turned that by 18 degrees 
figured out uh, uh, where the blocks should go there and then another 18 degrees and repeat until I got uh, all the, the five rotations figured out and then it's basically uh, 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 quite a repetitive task and um, after a few layers you even got that done uh, but let me tell you it took quite a bit of uh, glass I think uh, I used up uh, four Schalke boxes I'm uh, not quite sure anymore but uh, well it's it's definitely an effort and it did challenge my uh, uh, building skills and uh, that's the, the main goal here to uh, come up with new and uh, hopefully uh, interesting things and learn something in the progress even if you figure out uh, some things work better than others next step is figuring out where the uh, drop shoot is going and for that we actually need a hole somewhere uh, where we can surround it by all sides uh, without using any of this and it looks like this right here is the is the spot so and here we basically can tower up all the way to the top uh, probably one stack will not do um, then we need a dropper oh, of course wrong direction It's alright, then same old story. Comparator goes into a block, then I don't have any. repeaters with me but we are going in from here and then like this so let me grab quickly some repeaters do have them somewhere hopefully there there are a few and then let's finish this um, uh, goes like this and yep works like it should and now it's basically just um, repeat uh, we will have the orange blocks here upon which the uh, rail goes then the tower here and the uh, same thing all around so nothing too exciting but still it needs to be done the 
inner shell or the uh, actual farm tower is obviously uh, uh, smaller it's also uh, repetitive and um, it's way easier to build due to the lack of uh, the rotation uh, on, on each layer. Uh, I found the main difficulty uh, for getting from one layer to the next uh, uh, where actually the uh, dropper should be placed and uh, in which direction it should face uh, so that uh, each layer is exactly uh, the same. But even after a few layers, you got that figured out, how to best uh, resolve that. Almost finished. I uh, here put in the uh, ground floor and the uh, wall around it with huge storage on uh, this side. And of course, overflow uh, is being composted and then uh, bone meal gets dispensed into uh, the uh, storage system. These are uh, uh, empty and basically the idea is uh, once uh, all these are full, I just stand here, break the chest and uh, craft paper and store it over there. So I did have to put in some uh, light in front of here because uh, there were mobs spawning in with my uh, sugar cane and I don't like that. So the only thing that remains now is basically uh, putting a roof on top of it and then get rid of uh, all the snow. But that should not be uh, that difficult. For the roof, I was thinking over quite a few designs and also had a hell of a time how to figure out how big my uh, circle should be so that uh, everything below is covered um, in order to not end up with uh, snow on any part of the uh, lower building. Um, I tried, my initial idea was uh, basically a, a wooden roof um, and I also played around a bit uh, with uh, having uh, uh, different uh, segments uh, in different wood types but this did not look good and I also felt a bit like uh, uh, wood was the, the wrong material for the uh, outer part of this build seeing that uh, it's basically made of uh, glass and uh, polished andesite which somewhat resembles uh, concrete in real life so uh, in the end, I uh, went with uh, uh, polished blackstone slabs, which I think uh, looks great. It's done! Shortly under the uh, clouds, I finished the rooftop and let's have a flyby. I'm it's not exactly as I imagined it would come out but I guess let's put it down to a learning experience because the uh, inspiration I took this off uh, had not the uh, connected uh, uh, glass textures so uh, it looked a bit different but I 
like the color combination of the green sugar cane with the uh, red wood and uh, that you can actually uh, see it in there so it was a it was a nice nice change to do something uh, uh, different and uh, also here in the in the middle everything is uh, is finished on the inside uh, uh, all the uh, uh, overhangs are uh, uh, double slapped so there is no spawning space then on the outside it's uh, all glass if it's under the roof and the roof extends so far out that uh, we should not have any issues with snow so the only thing that remains is uh, placing the string on the uh, rooftop so that this that is also uh, snow free and it's working we're producing uh, sugar cane so uh, that's good and uh, with that i uh, hope you enjoyed this video and i hope to see you in the next one bye